Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. Today we're going to be going over how to make a kydex sheath with a taco construction opposed to a pancake construction where two sides are brought together. A taco construction is one piece of kydex that is folded over the spine. I've been making a few of these taco type kydex sheaths and I've really enjoyed working in this configuration opposed to the pancake design. I actually find that it's a little easier to construct these sheaths and to grind them than it is to do the pancake design. So what you've seen me do here so far is tape off my blade. I generally put one layer of masking tape on each side of my blade so that it is not only protected, but it also gives just a ever so slight amount of space on the interior of the sheath once it's pressed. I ordered my Kydex off of Amazon in 12 by 12 sheets, and in order to get my pieces to the appropriate dimension, we're gonna be using a razor blade here to scribe some lines. Once you've gone over the line a few times, you can easily break this Kydex by hand. The piece for this knife will be around six by five and a half inches. I then turn on my oven and put the Kydex in the oven so it can start heating up. What you are seeing here is my DIY Kydex press. The foam is about eight and a quarter wide by around 12 inches long. I purchased this foam off of Amazon. However, I think that this foam specifically is now discontinued. I used two pieces of wood attached by some really cheap hinges that I also found on Amazon. I have my oven set to high, so I am constantly checking with the temp gun and targeting a temperature of around 285 to 295 degrees Fahrenheit. Once that temperature is achieved, I will pull it out of the oven with rubberized gloves and then wrap it around the spine of the knife. During this process, you must take care so that the spine lines up with the crease of your taco the way that you would like it to. With more basic designs, I like the spine to be lined up inside of the crease. However, with some more aggressive drop point designs, the tip will move towards the side of the eyelets or the opening of the taco sheath. And this is fine. However, you may need to do this a couple times to achieve the look you're looking for. In this video, I will be working on three knives. You can see that on knife number one, my tip did venture towards the opening of the taco sheath. I decided to finish this sheath out anyway because I wanted to see how the finished product would look. And it did not turn out as bad as I thought that it would with this tip configuration in the sheath. I marked out a line 3 eighths of an inch away from the edge of my knife and that will be where I drill my holes for the eyelets. I then marked out another line 3 eighths of an inch from the original line and that will be the edge of the sheath. During these steps I make sure to space out the holes towards the top of the sheath by 3 quarters of an inch since it is a common spacing for tech locks and ulti clips. I will be drilling quarter of an inch holes in my punched locations to accept quarter inch kydex eyelets. Once the holes are drilled, I will cut out the profile of the sheath roughly on the bandsaw and then move on to the belt sander to clean up that profile. I try to get fairly close to my lines that I drew on the sheath with the bandsaw to minimize the amount of grinding that I have to do. I leave a generous amount of material towards the top of the sheath since this is where the retention will be decided with the grinder. To achieve the appropriate retention, I normally use a wheel of some sort, either a contact wheel or a small wheel on my small wheel attachment to grind down into the area between the beginning of the edge and the first eyelet. This is something that you will get better at as you make a few of these kydex sheaths and you will know around what dimensions to look for. I will show you here a close-up example of the retention that I target with my sheath. However, this, like I said, is something that you will need to feel out for yourself. So this is what it looks like straight off the grinder. Notice that that section right there that I just pointed to is where you will be retaining the knife in the sheath. If you go too far into that radius, the knife will not click into the sheath. And if you go too shallow, you'll have a hard time getting the knife out of the sheath. I then use some sandpaper, in this case, 220 grit sandpaper to hand finish the edges. This is why I do not completely put the sheath together with eyelets before grinding because a lot of grinding media gets into the sheath. So once I have the edges finished with the sandpaper, I will clean out the insides of the sheath 
with a little bit of simple green or some Windex, or I'll bring it inside and rinse it out in the sink. Once I have the sheath cleaned, I will test fit it with the knife by pinching where the top eyelet will be, just to get an idea of how my fit is. At this step, if I feel like it is way too tight, I'll go back to the grinder and take a little bit more away from that radius. Using an arbor press with some dies from DIY Holster, we will be setting the eyelets into the sheath. I want to note that the eyelets that I use are also from DIY Holster. I've had very bad experiences with the quick clip eyelets busting when using this arbor press. The following clip shows the sheath's retention. That nice tactile feel and audible sound is what I am looking for when making a Kydex sheath. At this point, we are very close to being finished with the sheath. The last thing I like to do is add a thumb ramp. This will allow you to get the knife out of the sheath more easily with one hand. To achieve this ramp, I will use a heat gun to heat up that area of the sheath and then some rubberized gloves to push that thumb ramp in once the kydex has softened. I will then hold that thumb ramp there until the kydex is cool enough to hold its shape. Also note that if for some reason your sheath does not have the retention that you're looking for at this step in the game, you can heat up that area as well and pinch it around your knife to achieve your desired retention. Here is a demonstration on why the thumb ramp is an advantage with a kydex sheath. As I mentioned earlier, the holes towards the top of the sheath are spaced out by three quarters of an inch, and this is the point of the game where you can put on whatever type of clip you see fit. A tech lock, an ulti clip, even some straps or paracord are all good solutions. I really hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button down below, and also consider subscribing to the channel where I will bring some fun knife making content your way in the future. Until the next time, I'll catch you all on the flip side.